brand new downtown when it had it all. This city enjoyed a vibrant downtown. Throughout the large majority of my life, uh, most everything I purchased was in downtown Jacksonville. I think in the past, uh, downtown was the place to go. That would eventually change. Jacksonville was founded by a man named Isaiah Hart. He came here in 1821. He was very familiar with the area. When the town was laid out, uh, names were certainly given to the 20 original streets, but they reserved what they thought was the real name of honor for the town. And they named the town for a man who was a general at the time, later elected president, that was General Andrew Jackson. In 1861, uh, the, the country was embroiled in a civil war. By that time, the population of the tiny town of Jacksonville had burgeoned to 2,000 people. So we became the great tourist town of the nation following the Civil War, roughly from the time the Civil War ended in 1865 until the time the town burned down in 1901. To this date, here we are in 2012, but to this time, it is still the third largest metropolitan fire in the United States history. When Jacksonville needed to reinvent itself following the Great Fire, one of the ways it did so was by welcoming the silent film industry here. We became the great movie-making capital of the nation. Everything that occurred in Jacksonville was all centered on downtown. Now this was 30 or 50 years ago when there wasn't much competition. There wasn't anything outside of downtown. Uh, downtown is a fairly large downtown. We are two and a half square miles. Uh, we have over 3,500 people that live downtown. River and a riverfront of over three miles long that connects to some fabulous neighborhoods. But if we want an active, vibrant city, we will have to have efforts made to revive downtown both from a retail standpoint and a destination standpoint. In the past year we've had the reconstruction of Laura Street that's been completed, changes to Met Park, the renovation of Friendship Fountain. We've continued to progress on the opening of the courthouse which will occur uh, at the end of May. In 2022 we'll celebrate our bicentennial as the town of Jacksonville. And we're really looking to take off on this whole creative vibe that downtown Jacksonville has. Today's downtown, I still enjoy it for the beautiful Civic Auditorium, for the river. I love getting out of my car and just walking in a street scene environment. Just come downtown and explore it. Come downtown for an event, come downtown, walk around, and you'll see how we've been changing things along down here.